With food insecurity on the rise, one chef decided to take matters into her own hands. I've been through some catastrophes, and the first thing that I could think of was, wow, people are going to need food. Abraham created Kids with Coworkers, a program that gives free meals to families in need. Before getting sponsors, she paid for it out of her own pocket. The only thing that I could do was cook, and these are my babies. You know, these are my babies, and I know their families. So if they suffer, I suffer. Loaves and Fishes also saw an increase in the need for food. Before COVID, we were serving about 700 families a week, and now we're serving over 1,000 a week. Wilt says the need didn't stop growing after the first surge. With the uncertainty of where their, that help and that support from the government is going to come next, we're starting to see another flux. This right here is the entrance to Loaves and Fishes. Cars will line up here to gather their groceries. Workers have told me that the need has been so great that sometimes lines will go all the way around the corner. Wilt and Ibrahim both said the community donations were key in getting through this year. But recently, Ibrahim's generosity hasn't come back around to her. We just found out that our funding is being cut 50%. Ibrahim says the families inspire her to keep giving. I have an obligation at this point to the community. Not even a pandemic can stop these Chicagoans from giving back. Liza Mahachak, KOMU8 News, Evanston.